<laughs> Praise the Lord. Reggie Nagahead here, a.k.a. Brother Liberty Jr. Brothers and sisters, we turn our Bibles to Psalms chapter 34. We'll be looking at verses 17 to 19. And it reads, The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word. Take it from the greatest book that man could ever possess. I remember this God's word. To give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord is here. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we see in Psalms chapter 34 where David uh, writes this song. And, and, and in the 17th verse of this song, the Psalms 34, it says, David, uh, the righteous cry. This is the righteous the, who believe in Jehovah God. And, and, and they, uh, it is counted for his righteousness cry and the lord the capital l capital o capital r capital d covenant keeping god the god who's going to keep his covenant because he loves his period heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles so whatever troubles that they he, he, the lord jehovah god through his son our lord and savior jesus christ is going to deliver them from all and all is a kindergarten word it means it includes everything and excludes nothing so if it's a trouble he's going to deliver you from all when the righteous cry and he hears and david is writing this song and then we see in verse 18 of psalm chapter 34 it says the lord capital l capital o capital r capital d covenant keeping god is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart now in this context what david who's writing this song the broken heart is the one the, in the individual whose heart has been broken by somebody or their heart is broken because living in a broken world so the broken heart that david is speaking about in this context the broken heart is something that comes from the outside whether it's somebody breaking that person's heart or the world that's broken that's breaking their heart but then we see he says following in verse 18 and save as such as be of a contrite spirit now the contrite spirit that david is speaking about is where david is being candid he's being open he's being honest he's being transparent he's taking accountability he's being self-reflective of the people's heart that he broke and when you do that, when you take accountability for what you've done to others, as David is doing, that's a contrite spirit. Taking accountability of the hearts that you've broken, that, you know, that, that David has broken. You know, in, in Acts chapter 13, verse 22, uh, uh, Apostle Paul calls David a man after God's own heart where when he's broken hearted because of maybe the broken world and people doing something wrong to him the contrast spirit is such that he recognizes the hearts that he's broken but then knowing all this when you're putting it all together it says many of the affliction of the righteous the affliction comes from a broken world, broken people, or you breaking somebody. Many affliction are righteous, but the Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, delivers them out of them all. And, 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 and so, so whether the, the, the broken heart that comes from, from, from the world or what, what, what you've inflicted on somebody, he delivers you from them all. Broken heart, contract spirit he delivers you from them all we know if you look in um proverbs chapter uh 23 no no excuse me 28 verse 13 we see um david's son solomon a great man of god 
he writes in his uh, letter, the proverb letter, King Solomon, he says, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper. And this covering of sin is not having a contrite heart, covering your sins. He's not going to prosper. But who so confesseth and forsaketh them, the brokenhearted, the contrite spirit, them shall have mercy. And so this is the year 2021, 2021 believer in Christ, in spirit, where the Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 and 21, where the apostle Paul writes in, in, in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 and 21, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. Christ lives in me. And the life that I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loves me, loves me, and therefore, and gave his life for me. And I do not frustrate the grace of God. I, 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 I come to God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the finished work of what he did on the cross. I come with a broken heart of, of, of the brokenness that, that I receive. And, and I come with a contrite spirit with the, the, the brokenness that I inflicted on others. I come and I do not frustrate the grace of God because, because he, 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 he gave his life for me. And my faith is on the Son of God who loves me. Therefore, I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness came by the Lord and Christ died in vain. And so when we come to the Lord in, in our brokenness and being candid and open and honest and transparent for the hurts that, that come to us and hurts that we've inflicted on others, he is faithful and just to deliver us uh, uh, from all afflictions and, 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 and because he loves us. And, and, and so come with that broken heart, come with that contrite spirit, because God will be glorified, you would be edified, and the kingdom of darkness, praise the Lord, will be nullified. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord's face shine upon you, may the Lord lift up his counsel to you, may the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. And now to him that is able to keep you from form, present you from Faultless in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.